We're still working on the truck. Um, we did get a running last time. Uh, this round, I think I'm gonna switch it up. I wanna do a little bit of exhaust work. Well, I don't know if I'm doing exhaust. I did say I'd like to do the, uh, the bumper. So I think that is where we're gonna start. Um, you have to imagine I picked this one up or I found this one in the yard. This is a 58, I think it's a 58 or no, sorry, a 59 Buick bumper. And I'd like to try to adapt that thing onto the back of here. It's kind of my plan. Um, to do that, what we're gonna have to do is probably in the midsection here, we're gonna like section it and narrow this up and then try to figure out how we're gonna make the sides work with our fenders on here. At least, at least that's the plan. Um, I'm starting to toy with the idea that uh, instead of my exhaust coming out through the, the running board, with the rear bumper with a couple nice steps, it might be nice to run the exhaust all the way out the back, straight out the back. Would be kind of cool. So I'm not gonna play with exhaust until I figure that out. That said, I did get my header gaskets. We got some antifreeze so we can put that in. I kind of just trying to bleed out the power steering. Uh, I still have to hook up the power brakes. I gotta go find a plug and stuff behind there for that. But uh, the power steering was working when I did fire it up, so that's good. Still have a lot of cleanup to do under here and we got some battery cable in so we can actually do that stuff right. I don't have any of the wiring in the truck or nothing yet, so that's not a, a big deal, but I think I want to uh, focus around for a little bit and uh, just try to get Work on the front bumpers, get the bumpers all back on, front and back. Just see how that all looks and uh, uh, just switch it up, do something a little different. I think we're always switching it up, but I just want <laughs> to do something a little different today. All right, well, let's get started. Well, look at that beauty. That is like one of the missing puzzles that I've been missing in the shop. Um, I plan to use this a lot more than I did my old one. My old one was pretty, it was a belt drive. It was basically a glorified drill press. This is the real deal. Pretty happy. This thing just showed up on Marketplace. So I kind of, uh, I don't know if a Marketplace, it's like a local paper. It's only online now, but anyways, yeah. I, we grabbed this thing from there. So got it plugged in, it's working. I'm gonna have to get some tooling. Um, I think I probably gonna hit up KBC Tools. They, uh, they got a little deal and a sale going on, so I'll probably scoop a bunch of stuff from them just so I can make more use of this than I have in the past. <clears throat> Anyways, that said, I um, did a bit of cleanup. We got our workbench good. Uh, I think now's our chance to grab this bumper and uh, we'll try to mock it up on the table. I want to cut out this center section and tack it together and then we'll just kind of roughly see how it looks on the back of the truck right away.
We push the table to the truck. The bumper. We got to cut a lot of bumper off. <laughs> And I don't know if that's going to be too short. I also don't want it to go to way past the fender. It could have not taken less out of there, so that's not a big deal. If this was taller, it'd be cool to incorporate the, uh, the license plate light, but... Oh, mind you, the bumper's upside down right now. That doesn't change anything. Just means we get more front fur. Hmm. <laughs> Bit of a dilemma, I'm trying to think this out. All right, if you look, you see the way the bumper ends over here, that's kind of, I'm really mixed on that. Like, I don't know if I should get closer to the edge. Even that, I'm thinking, I don't have that much on this side. Oh yeah. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just cut I'm gonna cut off what I need to go beside the fender I don't think that's the look I want to do but at least we can get the bumper sitting and we can just visualize it if we need to go in or out I don't care if we got to cut this up a bunch we'll just be painting the bumpers anyways so because this one's this one's actually not terrible but my front one's pretty destroyed so I like the look it finishes the bottom of the truck like it finishes the back pan hides my fuel tank it's got a lot of winds going on. I just don't know. Maybe it'll be okay if we cap this and it sort of had a nice, it just did something, followed the fender, maybe complemented the fender. We will trim it and keep trimming it until, because I don't really care. We got lots of this. We can make this work on there if I screw it up. But I think what I'm going to do is I want the bumper to sit just under this edge, but kind of hump out. And then we want to trim this to follow my bumper her or my fender. That is the plan. I don't know. <laughs> Hear me out here. There's a semi coolness to this, but so the backside, this is what I like. I like how the bumper sits here. It'd be a little bit more under that side. I like this. This is too much. Cause you gotta imagine my front bumper doesn't go past the fenders or do anything, but I'm wondering if I can keep this to almost similar. How do I say this? See how the bumper comes to a point right now. I'm wondering if the shape of the fender, I keep trimming this part away and keep bringing the bumper in as much as I can till I end up maybe coming into a bit of a spear and it kind of sits behind the front of the fender. Uh, you know, because I'm thinking it's going to be around this area, maybe. We'll still keep maybe this profile. 
Like, a, it'd be nice if it actually ended and had some of this edge, but you can't on the fender. So I'm just wondering if it just ended like f flush and then kind of petered out. That's my brain thought. We're gonna give it a shot. If I screw it up, it doesn't matter. We'll come back and just still make this. I know you folks don't understand. But my thought originally was I was just gonna make a cut like this and we we're gonna hide it behind the bumper. Now I'm wondering if I can kind of bring that and keep a bit of this, but tuck it in. So I'm shooting for that because if that screws up, we still got plan B. And uh, the thing is with plan B or with plan B, I'm pretty sure the bumper's wide enough. And with plan A, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to add a piece in the middle, but we're gonna start with this. And I think that's a pretty good place to start. And then we'll see how, uh, how things go from there. I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's getting there, but it's just not a good look. Like it's really too square. If it was more, I don't know if it came in more. I mean, I can keep manipulating things, but I mean, I don't think it needs it. I think it's just cause it's a truck. They look weird with a big bumper on the back. Even the original bumpers never looked right on these. That's definitely a good look though, golly. That's way better than I thought it was. I was gonna tuck it more under, but I think once I fill this, I think that'll look really good. Anyways, um, hmm. I guess I'm gonna go with my plan. I'm gonna cut here, but I'm gonna go kind of aggressively ahead. I wanna bring this into here more, but I, want, I do want it a little bit curved, because I'm thinking this bumper, this outside will look good probably about here but I want the front to kind of, I don't know, kind of do, do one of those. <laughs> With any luck, <laughs> this bumper is the same side to side, <clears throat> and this pattern is going to work to at least get us in the ballpark where we cut. I'll be able to roughly cut it a little longer, and then we'll uh, eyeball it from there. to get this off dirty it up a little mind you we only need the back side of this so. oops I already moved stuff look at that that's why you multi-layer this all right come on you can do it
Technically, technically, Yeah, no, this is right. Technically, if we did this right, I'm gonna cut it not on this line because I don't know if we're the same, but. This technically is the same cut as the other side now. The chances of everything being the same side to side are zero, so. We'll take this gracefully and then we'll work our way. Hopefully it is the same, but I don't trust it. I feel everything seems pretty much the same. I'll play it safe. Feel the battery was going dead. I'm happy to say I feel confident to cut it on the same line. <laughs> Well, I don't think I have my jack stand sitting right because the truck's a little crook, but I like it. It's got a pretty nice look to it. You can see this needs some tweaking, but overall, this one needs more work just to... Needs a lot more work. <laughs> Let's show you the other side. It's still sitting where it's supposed to. So it goes around. We'll have to make a little filler part right up here, and then uh, right here you can see it's got a nice there, follows along. I think once this is square, it sits like this. See, this one's pretty good fit. It's got a nice little gap going along. Then we'll kind of kind of build some filler into here yet. That's kind of the plan. And then it'll have a nice, just a little gap. I think I like that. I'll have to, well, I think we're gonna have to add just a strip. I don't know if I'll chop a bumper up to do that. I might, uh, hmm. We might just use regular steel in there. Cause I did say we're gonna try to strip this and paint it. That is the plan. Okay, so the bumper's semi back on. I don't know, because we got that stupid table in the way. It doesn't give you a really good visual, but I, uh, it's different, but I like it. Probably be better if I did have some kind of a light there, but then this would be pretty blah. I know before some folks were upset. I didn't have to use the GMC tailgate, but I never, the intention was never for the back was never going to open. Um, if the script was there, but this is so small, it doesn't even make sense as a tailgate because a normal tailgate on these trucks is like over here, like it's about that high. So, yeah, that's what happens when you do. Well, when I do it anyways, things change all the darn time. So over here, I don't like this fitment. I'm going to try to drill a hole, bolt this just to see if it pulls snugs. 
snugs up a little bit because our our measurements are a little different from side to side but hey nobody's gonna know right if you don't tell anybody I won't tell anybody that it's a little different from side to side <laughs> right pup you won't tell anybody eh hey bud okay well that's cool it's dark I don't know that I got to actually pull that other bumper out, but I don't know if I have any strapping. I guess we could cut something on the plasma table. That should technically be just a strip. That is like a three and a half inches would be ideal. If we did it with that 10 gauge, which would kind of be sucky. It's a little thicker than this. Well, the bumper's pretty close to 10 gauge, so I guess we could do that. Then we'll have to make some fillers in there too yet. But we'll play with that first. We'll get the bumper as one piece and then we'll play with everything else and try to get it sorted out. Right, Pop?
I think it's got to it's got to come down a little more, but I like the overall look in the back. The bumper little hammered out. This thing I have to cut that mount and bring it tuck it in. Then that'll square out pretty good, but you know, it's I like it from here. It's all good. Here I'm like I almost feel it should gone more. I don't know. Not a hundred hundred percent. I think we gotta still shuffle it just a hair a bit more to the other side. We got a good gap here, but it's a little I don't know. It's probably a better gap. I probably should have the other one to about that size. I think it finishes the back of the truck nice. I kinda don't know because I don't have the lights in it and stuff, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but you do have to imagine the a license plate holder, we got our lights. There's gonna be a mesh in here yet. Just from this angle, it almost feels like the bumper should, should have come out more. But I, I don't know, like we kind of played with that idea and it just, I don't know. I don't know if it gives it a too square you look. For now, I'll leave it. Uh, guy can always cut and we got these bits, but I just think it's too much. It'll bump away from the truck too much if we run something like this. If we do something like that. Because I don't have that in the front. So that's my thing. If the bumper stuck away a lot more, maybe, but... Hmm. It got me thinking, though. I got this little one. Yeah, because I cut this one up pretty hardcore. Let me bust this off, tack it on there, and see how I like that. This doesn't finish nice on top. I'm mixed. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I think it needs it. <laughs> it sucks and I cut this thing up hardcore. See this one will probably, ah oh, there's still so much. Hmm. Let me ponder about this for a bit. <laughs> I am so mixed. Like it looks good from this shot on. But when you look at the back of the truck, it sort of has a brokenish look to it. Now, if I remember my original thought, I wanted the bumper to stick out, but if you add this, I can, and you trim this away, I don't know which size what, but this profile will stay the same. But look how much nicer it cleans up the side of the truck. Hold it a different way here. Like it just has such a nice finished look and then the bumper just looks like it belongs on there, especially if I trim this to hover along the body like that. You know what? I'm gonna just sit and ponder that whether I wanna do that or not. But uh, I think the first thing we gotta do right now anyways is we got to build a bumper bracket no matter what so i gotta check this looks like this thing's got to go just a hair bit over a bit but anyways let's clear this plate out let's just lift the truck up let's start thinking about my bumper brackets we'll try to make the bumper brackets and then i don't know we'll we'll, we'll think about this what the guy wants to do everything's so custom that's just a whole bunch of extra work but it might be worth it. I don't know. <laughs> it's always a make work project. See how things change? I had the bumper, I had the idea, it wasn't right. I think if I had originally just pie cut it and done what I wanted, it probably would have been better, but woulda, coulda, kind of how she goes. Oh well, let's, uh, hmm. well, let's build some bumper brackets so at least the bumper's bolted on. Then we can think of things through differently. Oh, also you're watching me, like I drilled and I bolted this. This gap's 
a little big down here, but I'm like, you know, I did a bunch here and it's not that pretty anyways. Like I have to uh, like weld this up and stuff. I don't know, maybe I will slice the other side. I can't get my saw in there, but I guess it could use a little bit. We've did a little bit before. So if I come in here, do a little bit of something, I think we can yoink that thing in a little bit tighter. Then, uh, then we'll come back and we'll fill this and then, I don't know, we'll sit and think. Maybe I will cut up another set of bumpers to do that. I don't know yet. Well, we cut and chopped everything out of there. I didn't make these fillers yet, because I'm not sure if I'm still on the fence if I want to change that other part. But uh, other than the bumper's still a little wavy, we got to fix that, because we got a bit of gap there, and then it kind of comes up. So I'll have to like try to beat that section out. But other than that, hey, that's got a, 
It's got a pretty neat look to it. We kind of shoved it over. You kind of seen me, I built a bracket. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys under here. All right, so I built the bracket there. It, uh, I kind of screwed up on my dimple die, but <laughs> nobody's gonna see. I put that die in there, the dimple, just because I wanted to um, just add a little strength to that bracket. So we did that, we folded it, so it's got tons of strength. We got our bolts in here, so there's, they're kind of sloppy enough, there's some adjustment everywhere. So, I don't know what I gotta do. Cause this bracket here, I gotta take the bumper off and then probably beat, there's, this mount is like holding it all in place there. But I'm pretty happy the way that came out. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we go for it and add on to it? I don't know. I'm kinda leaning that I might go that way. I don't know, kind of all over the place on this one. <laughs> well, unfortunately, folks, I think this is about where we're going to end this one. I didn't quite get the bumper all done, but we do have it mounted. You can kind of have a, a good peek at what's going on there. And uh, I don't know. I like the look. I'm just thinking it would look better if we actually finished that out, but I don't know. And unfortunately, we didn't actually get around to finishing up the front bumper, getting any work done on there. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to save that for the next round. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyways, folks, as always, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.